We're all slouching with good reason. <laughs> uh, uh, today's Friday. It's the day off. It's uh, Friday, uh, November 20th, uh, 2020. It is 8 hours and 16 minutes into the day. And it's, it's 8.16 a.m. Uh, using a 24-hour clock, it's 8 hours and 16 minutes into the day. That's how you tell the time. It is not... Oh, 0800 hours or whatever it's because there's only because there, there's no 100 hours in a day it's only 24 hours in the day so it is 8 hours and 16 minutes into the day that is the proper and correct terminology for time on a 24 hour clock of course if you have the 12 hour clock there's AM and PM uh, <coughs> uh, there was, there is no ending log for today. This is the beginning for uh, for Friday. This is our beginning log. I have already done the uh, gaming and meditation. Things are going all right. You always expect setbacks. You always expect that nothing is going to be exact. As I said before. <coughs> I'm recovering in the gaming from a particular loss. And it's going to take me a week to recover, but I am instead also at the same time moving ahead. So, you have to play your, your, your law. You have to be able to, and this is true even with business or anything, there's something known as risk analysis and risk management. <clears throat> risk management and risk analysis have to do with how you're going to deal with the eventual failures that you're going to face. How you manage your these particular issues will determine whether or not you can persevere or not, because sometimes if you don't handle these things properly, they can be so damaging that that's it, that's the end, that's the end of the road. Not necessarily the end of your life, but at the end of the road. And I mean, you have to consider another path in life. But for those of you who uh, are there to determine to stick it up, there's always ways around things. There's always ways to repair things, to, to fix things up, even if something is damaged. Uh, putting together my scooter, it wasn't, uh, my scooter didn't come the way it is now. Uh, I shopped around and put all the different pieces together, and the last part that came in, that came in, I think, was the, yesterday's vlog. We started off, the, started off right into the vlog uh, with a package opening, and it was a clear visor. And I used the visor last night. It was amazing, and, you know. I did uh, was able to check the to check the speedometer. I was doing forty kilometers an hour. That's my new top speed now. It's it's almost double what it was before. Uh, it goes between 40 and 45. I was more or less keeping up with traffic. So I do have new skills now. I have moved ahead. I've got a bit of a setback in my meditation, but uh, so far I'm able to recover from it. It just what happens is sometimes when the, the schedule flips and things rotate for a bit, uh, in terms of the way I'm sleeping, the way I'm awake, and all these different, these various different times, uh, when they're in flux, it, it tends to sort of uh, make uh, my uh, meditation schedule uh, uh, a little shaky. And it becomes an issue. It becomes a factor in creating a, call, a, a sort of a negative uh, impact where the meditation and other things start to fall off, and that's actually how I had the issue in game. I just was away too long, and the and the, uh, the, the, uh, the security system that is in place for 12 hours lapsed. Uh, it lapsed earlier than I expected it to, and um, uh, tragedy ensued, and uh, now I have to repair and recover from it. Uh, but the thing is, there is the, there is the uh, option of repair and recovery. So, 
is onward and upwards. Look as good as they usually do. <laughs> all right. Well, I vlog in all states, including the altered ones. It is six hours and twenty-nine minutes into the day of Saturday, November twenty-first, uh, two thousand two thousand. And 20, I almost said 2001. I don't know why that popped in my mind, but it did. <sighs> Fridays, I spend an enormous amount of time in my dreams. That's my day off. Same thing with Wednesday. And, um,. It's not always possible to stay, even though you stay within the state and it stays within your mind, it's still within my mind right now. And I talk about near misses and so on and so forth. I do get up to have something to eat. I had uh, fried eggs last night uh, while I was watching uh, uh, I was watching uh, uh, Kim Possible. I was going to go back and watch them, I'll go on a side path, I finished most of the YouTube show. But after, every, every once in a while I get tired of watching vlogs and I want to go back to my cartoons and so I do go back to the cartoons and that's what I was feeling last night is going back to the cartoons. And so I ended up watching uh, Kim Possible. A different feeling, different sense of, uh, of where I was and you know, and it, 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 <clears throat> when I take the day off, my sense of mind is primarily within the dream world. Because I come out of a situation within the dream, I wake up, and the situation in terms of what happened and how I was feeling with how I was feeling was still with me, and my mind goes over the scenario on a repeated basis. And this is certainly no uh, no exception today, is that even though I'm, suppo I'm supposedly awake, <laughs> my mind isn't necessarily there. It's just just continually thinking about what I was what I was. Dreaming about. And a lot of it has to do with some of the things that I wish would come true. A lot of it, it comes into uh, some of the anxieties I have. I mean, you, you always have anxieties. The anxieties never actually go away. Uh, and just because they don't necessarily appear during the day as anxieties, they certainly do come out at night and... <clears throat> You even, you even have anxiety from way back when when you were a kid. The point in time which you can sort of remove yourself from the anxieties is, is, is quite minimal because you may have a certain degree of control over yourself now. But you certainly did as a, certainly didn't as a kid. And so sometimes the uh, the the emotions and feeling that you had when you were younger come back into play again, and you begin you you begin to understand how, as much as you think you've accomplished, you really haven't accomplished much because some of the older triggers. are actually so powerful that it sets you back in terms of the things you think you accomplished. 
you're like, oh, where did that emotion come from? Where, you know, why am I, be, you know, if you know you can, you're able to control your behavior in the dreams, so that you're not freaking out, you're not sort of in the panic mode. Then all of a sudden, this dream from way back when uh, comes up, and you're right back in panic mode again. I mean, the feeling is there is different when you're doing something new. You're getting up to a new level. Uh, sort of, you've accomplished certain things within your dreams. You're feeling accomplished within your dreams to a certain degree. But you never completely feel accomplished within the dreams. Because you never, you never end up reaching your end goal anyway. You never really end up uh, achieving what you want. You have some degree of achievement, just the way you do uh, when you're awake, but the overall achievement itself is still elusive. And it leaves a sense that there is a never-ending dream that, that even though you've left the dream, it's not over yet because you haven't reached uh, the ultimate end point. But I think if, if you're going to become immortal and there is no ultimate end point, at what point in time do you what, uh, what point in time do you achieve your end point? And that because that that becomes a problem because to a certain degree uh, it becomes a problem because uh, you now have to live with the reality that there is no in, no end point. There is no end. And this bec this becomes can be a very daunting idea. It could be something that is very, in many cases, frightening to know that there is no there is no end. That that in, in the sense of immortality, that uh, that there's always going to be something that's way beyond you. I mean, that's, just if, that's if you think like that, you know, if you look, think of, what, you know, you go and think of what the totality is. And where you are in that totality, if the totality is infinite, then no matter where you are in the, in the totality, unless you expand the entire totality itself, you're infinitely lost, or you haven't moved at all. And so you got to be happy, you got to in many ways be happy with what you have, happy where you are. This is kind of where that, that st this sort of perspective, perspective comes in, is are you happy where you are? Do you ha Are you happy with what you have? And then move forward from there. As soon as you can achieve that, uh, I think that's a good worthwhile point, and it's not necessarily patting yourself on the back or giving yourself a me day or anything like that. This is, it's a, an entirely Entire, it's an entirely separate sense of self. The feeling that you, support, that you have is not is, is is kind of a happy one, but it's also satisfied. But it really doesn't have uh, a an exact statement in terms of there's no way to really describe it except that you feel that majority that the majority of your anxieties are gone the, the, no, the, the anxieties that were there before are no longer and that you are okay with where you are not necessarily happy with but okay with where you are and the other guys that could be that could be happy as well but the thing is is that there's no guarantee of that And anyways, these are this is the end point of the Friday vlog. Uh, we will probably doing the uh, begin the uh, Saturday the weekend long weekend the the week <clears throat> the weekend vlog in about an hour or so after I do some gaming and meditation and continue from there on out. Probably a schooling vlog today, because I'm going to my parents' house for dinner. It is the feast day of Saint Nectarius, the, the patron saint that I uh, follow. And we'll talk more about patron saints uh, uh, probably uh, in the scouting vlog uh, in, in a couple of hours.